Hi there Pisces, Pisces Sun, Moon and Rising Sign. This is your October 2020 Love Monthly Forecast reading with me Chrissy from In The Stars by Chrissy.com or as some of you may know as Heart Divine. Now if you're new to my channel, please do know that I do monthly intuitive forecast love readings just like this one and astrology videos all at the same time and if this is something that you're interested in please do consider subscribing now before we get into the reading and to the big picture on what we might experience and you know um encounter energy wise or literally wise let's talk about the, you know the energy in focus for the month of october 2020 first and foremost now we are going to have you know we are still in mars retrograde motion in the sign of aries so there is still you know not really a time of you know creating a lot of um forward momentum of action uh, and we also are going to have this Mercury retrograde in the sign of Scorpio. So there's going to be a lot of reflection that we might experience. It's just that, you know, I find that this month would be uh, a really good month to have a, some form of breakthrough. We're in, you know, we are not exactly at the time we're in, we are expected to move forward immediately and create a lot of changes. It's just that this could be a month wherein we come into a lot of realizations and we might find answers that allows us to push forward with certain things. It can also be, you know, you know, uh, a time wherein we are creating a step-by-step -step process. So we might experience some forward momentum, like we are taking action in certain things but we are not we should not expect basically a result immediately based on our action so it's not a very action oriented month but you know we are slowly getting there if you get what i mean so there is some form of energy right here it is also really a good time to have some form of awareness. You know, we we are going to learn some things. We are going to find out a lot of things. It could be something within ourselves. It could be something that related to other people and with our relationships. But this is a time where, in, you know, we are not going to be lost anymore. We are at a point of our life where in we have learned from our mistakes from the past. And we now know what to do. Um, for our own future so basically you already have a goal in mind it is not a time for you to get lost and if you are still lost in the process this could be a time for you to to break through that to overcome that because you will come to realize what is the right path for you um, especially this month so it's not really a month for you to miss out because there's going to be a lot of insights um showering you all throughout the month and so it's a very important month if you would ask me as it will prepare us to what is to come um in the long-term future so um yeah that is basically the energy for that so um let's begin the reading first of all this is a general reading so it may or may not tune in to each and every pisces people out there so just keep that in mind and if you feel that you are not connected into the reading then be, maybe you are not you can check in with your sun sign moon sign or ascendant sign um to see if that resonates with you so um i would advise you also use your own intuition on whatever message you are resonating with this in this video so let's start with the reading you do have an interesting mix of energy here we are starting with a chariot card which is you know a card of movement a card of action i would say that many times i always see this as a card of courage all at the same time you know a point wherein where we make a decision to take action on certain things it could be with a certain relationship we are wanting to push forward and you know move into new grounds in a relationship it could be something that's happening to you in a very personal level and we have here the knight of swords and the knight of swords has a lot to do with messages and especially things that are in our mind and things that we 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 <laughs> that are in our head basically things that we want to say to people whether you are saying them or not so 
it is it has a lot of form of it has a lot to do with a form of our own expression basically and with the chariot and then the, the knight of swords over here this could be a situation wherein we might say things we that we truly feel or we might just say things out of the blue without any form of control so um I would say that, you know, it really depends right now on whatever situation you're going through. Um, if that is occurring in a very positive way or not. But I would, I, I, I kind of feel that, you know, you might say things without filter, uh, which is something that is very new for a lot of Pisces people, if you'd ask me. So the Emperor card here is, you know, I always see the Emperor card when it comes to relationships as a very frustrating card because uh, despite that this is a male energy, uh, this is a person that tends to hesitate. And taking action hesitate in saying things you know they they can be a very observer they tend to play a role of an observer they're not really uh, very initiative with certain things they can be it's just that for the most part they try to sit out and wait so um, this could be an act of frustration for you if you're dealing with someone with this kind of energy so you might uh, talk to them and say what you want, demand things as a possibility because of that person or you could be in a situation right now where in you have been patient with certain things, you have been, you know, observing the situation, waiting things out, you have been very patient, trying to understand the other person or the situation that you're in, but maybe um, this is a point of your life wherein you cannot hold it in anymore. You have to say something. You want to express not just your thoughts, but what you truly feel inside of you even. So this can be also a point wherein you about your own plans for the future as a possibility we do have here the queen of cups so this can represent you your you know emotional connection with life and with your partner it has a lot to do with intuition all at the same time this could be a time wherein you know you need to confront someone or confront a partner or a relationship in a very emotional level, intuitive level, you know, you're not going to be thinking about uh, the what ifs of life. You would want to respond to things in a very fast level, quick level. Um, it's just that one thing that you need to keep in mind is that, you know, this has a tendency to emotionally react into things and that can trigger you. Um, to different forms of challenges when it comes to relationships if you would ask me i do feel that this could be a very emotional month for a lot of you uh pisces out there with the lover's card here this can tell us that maybe love is in the forefront of your life right now it could be uh, a time that you need to make a decision with a relationship or it could be a time that you are wanting more affection with your partner even so if there is something that is you know incomplete or lacking in the relationship you might be you know fixated on that you know what is not happening in the relationship what is lacking you would want to have the desire to own that to have that and you might need to you know sort that out in the relationship with the page of swords over here this is actually telling us that you know if you have any insecurities in the relationship you are definitely going to you know want to sort that out whether um it might happen in different ways wherein you might say things um because of your lack of trust or you might have you know um some form of difficulty with your own expression because um, you're feeling insecure so that is just a basic nature of everyone you know not just with Pisces if you are insecure in the relationship because maybe the other person is lacking showing you affection or um, anything of sort um, we tend to act in certain things that are you know 
we think is logical but sometimes we act in a very illogical way and it makes it a lot more harder for us to connect with that partner because we are you know maybe we're not entirely expressing what we feel in all of those kind of stuff it's basically a very mix all mixed emotions are coming in together and it's making everything complicated as a possibility so i would say that you know this is a situation we're in if you have you know pent up frustration um, is happening in your life con in a very consistent level you are now at the breaking point wherein you need to you know sort things out so there are just certain things in your life and in your relationship that needs to stop you know it cannot continue any further because there's never because maybe there is you feel that there's never going to be any growth in the relationship or you feel that maybe that person is not going to give you what you want or what you desire so it could be just you running out of your own patience so whatever it is you need to voice it out you know and by voicing it out you know if that person is going to reciprocate your own feelings or your own energy so there's a lot to think about when it comes to your own relationships, if you, if you would ask me. In most cases, the page of source is about you being skeptical on certain things with, a, with the relationship. Or it, like I said earlier, a lack of trust as a possibility. So at one point, you are very emotional. But at a certain point, you are thinking about the relationship way too hard as a possibility as well. Though we do have here the Six of Cups, this is about, you know, a very harmonious energy. Maybe you are really, you know, your desire of wanting to be with someone and having a companion, having a friend, talking to them, you know, having some form of ventures with your partner. You know, this is something that you really, really want and you really desire and we are seeing this very clearly. It's also a possibility that you might reunite with someone from the past or, you know, it could be a signal wherein if you do voice out what you feel and what you think, maybe there is a reconciliation in the air, you know, you might understand quite a few things, you might learn something in the relationship that gives you a form of relief one way or another. And if you think about it, you should have just expressed what you feel you know um, you should have just become more honest with what you feel instead of playing mind games you know even though I know that a lot of you are not into mind games it's just that you know maybe you are too fearful to expose your own feelings you know creating a lot of fear um, in the relationship and this is a time for you to um, overcome that and go go past that energy basically we do have here the Page of Wands, which is uh, another wonderful card. We're in harmonious connections, you know, mes good messages comes in, basically. So that is basically the energy right here. So whatever that pops up in your mind right now, if you feel that you need to say something, I kind of feel that you need to follow your own your own feelings and your own intuition. If it's telling you to, to do a certain action in the relationship or whatever situation that you're in follow that because maybe it is an act of spiritual guidance to you that maybe um, this change is needed so that you know things can progress you know in the relationship or whatever situation that you're in because maybe you are in a situation that is quite stuck and sometimes you know we need to shake things up some form of change is, needs to happen some form of excitement or venture needs to occur for things to um to really to really happen you know something like that and over here, we do have these six of um, pentacles, which is all about balance. So maybe the give and take of the relationship um, needs to be sorted out, you know, bringing in more harmonious energy again. So I just kind of feel that over here, this is really more of a battle between between uh, two people who are probably not talking or they are not being honest with what they truly feel. Someone is being, you know, reserved with their own feelings and 
not telling the other person what they truly feel and the other person is busy with their mind they're not really expressing anything so two people are not expressing what they what they both feel and think about the situation or relationship and this is about you know balancing things out you know to bring harmony back into the situation and relationship and you need to do this, you know, maybe there are a lot of fears in taking action. But with this reading, we are seeing that, you know, there is a, a pathway that needs to happen. So that, you know, it's not going to be a cycle. It's not going to be a repeated pattern that happens in the situation and the relationship. The last card that we have over here is the Seven of Cups. There is a risk here wherein you might just try to... Um, escape reality or try to think of a lot of ideas a lot of what ifs comes into your mind and you don't really take action with anything you know you are thinking of a lot of things a lot of possibilities a lot of opportunities but it doesn't mean that you're taking action and that is something that you want to avoid if there is a decision that you have to make you need to you know take a grasp of, on them um make a a solid decision in your mind you know step by step and make sure to act on it don't just think about certain things and don't just dream and idealize certain things it is also a possibility that you're thinking of a particular person in your life wanting to be that be with them wanting to have that relationship with them wanting for the relationship to be better but you are stuck in the process of you know just thinking things out and not really um, making any effort in doing doing the work to to wrap things up in the relationship or not doing the work to connect with that person. You need to make you need to make the first step. So that is really going to be very important for a lot of you Pisces out there to don't get drowned with, with the fantasy and dreams. You need to take action. That is the most important thing that you need to know. I do feel that, you know, a lot of you guys are going to be at the point of um, wanting to resolve problems, you know. There is a problem in the relationship. We are seeing that. But you need to resolve it. But you don't, you, what you need to avoid is to get trapped into the idea of it's not going to, it's not going to be resolved. I should just wait things out and wait for things to change. Wait for things to get better. That's never going to happen. Um, so to get out of this frustration and block or setback that you're going through, you need to take action. At the end of the day, um, you have to admit that you need to communicate and to talk things out. And most importantly, you need to make a decision all at the same time. I would say that your intuition right now is going to be very, very strong. So follow what you feel. Don't just be more, don't just think about certain things, you know, follow your heart, follow what your intuition is telling you. I feel that, you know, um, that is going to be the trigger point that allows you to have some form of compromise, have some form of harmony back in your life and in your relationships. So um, yeah, this is about you making a connection with someone, maybe someone that you haven't um, haven't talked to for quite a while, haven't talked to for such a long time. Maybe the both of you had bitter ends or, you know, it could be just a spat in the relationship, uh, things not working out, not, not so romantic, all those kinds of things. You need to um, make a step to... To make the distance a little bit more closer, you know, not farther apart. So that is the idea there. We do have here the element of the sixth house, Leo, and the sun. So Le sun, sun in the sign of Leo is a very happy energy. And with the sixth house, this, this might have a lot to do with exes or people of the past, people that we had fight with. Or this could be a situation that needs some form of work, you know. To get your own happiness, you need to work hard for it. 
So you have that form of energy. Now let's see what, what we have with the Lenormand card. Any additional message or confirmation on what is to come. So we have here the male card. This can talk about you or a specific male in your life with the house. It could be a man who is at home or it could be the house can also talk about the foundation of a relationship. We have here the dog card, which is all about companionship. And then here we do have another coffin. So we have the coffin card. So it could be a relationship that has already ended. But I would say that this is a situation wherein um, you might need to... This could be an end of chaos possible end of chaos or this could be a situation wherein you are having a lot of fear in making a connection your fear in making some form of communication with someone you know you're you are fearful of making contact uh, with a particular person or group of people even it could even be someone that you used to be your friend so but eventually though i kind of feel that with the mail card and the bird card there is going to be some form of news some form of communication is going to occur from a relationship that probably ended or probably at a stalemate at this time so that is really a possibility now we do have the last card over here as the book card which is all about discoveries something that you need to to flip over and find things out. It could have a lot to do with secrets even. So I just kind of feel that, you know, if there's something that you don't have any access on right now, instead of giving into your fears, instead of not doing anything, um, I would say that this is the time for you to step up and do something and to end your own misery and your own chaos. Um, that is happening in your life so and if you are a male I kind of feel that you might be the one who needs to make the initiative or yeah that is basically the energy right here the coffin card is a close um, energy you know it's a box basically something that is not available at this time so it could be that you know there are a lot of 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 messages that can come with this it could also be that you might hear uh, difficult news or it could be a situation that has a lot to do with some form of depression but in most cases I feel that this could be a situation that can end a problem ending of a problem in by the means of making some form of communication with someone so let's end it at that as a more positive um, element in place. I do know that there is a stuck energy surrounding you right now, but this is a time for you to wake up and tell yourself that you need to get out of this situation. And what can I do to change the situation? Is so That is what you should be focusing on right now, Pisces. So... Don't just dream, but start talking, start opening up, start making some form of contact. And don't be afraid of your own fear. You need to overcome those fears. So I would say that, you know, this is a good time to act upon your intuition and don't be afraid of acting upon um, what your intuition or your your gut feelings is telling you as i feel that that will lead you to a better path that is you know away from frustration and feeling feeling trapped so this is a good time to get out of that and i feel that you know you will know that you are ready that is the most important thing you will know that you are ready and that is what you are going to find out and experience this month, Pisces. So, um, yeah, thank you guys for watching and tuning in with me. I do hope that this reading gives you insight and clarity to your own situation. If you do want a personal reading, just like this one or something more specific and detailed, specifically done for you, you can do that by booking a session with me through my website in the stars by And I'll see you guys again next month. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe.
and comment down below if you do have any concerns. Bye!